So let me just let me forget the camera and today I'm gonna make a brand new video. So I'm gonna show you how to do some interesting things with your desktop. So here's how to paint straight from your desktop. You just hit new, then you go over to BMP image file. Okay. You do that, and then you just double click on it. Look. Look at open paint. Okay, so, so now one second. Okay, so now now I'm just gonna paint for a bit. Wait, one second, why isn't it appearing? Uh Okay, there it is. Okay, so let me just explain this a little bit so you can see it. Just Okay. So now now you're gonna want to just paint. Like you can you can draw me. To me. Don't you look great in this? In real life, right now I have, I have uh, some, uh, some uh, very interesting uh, things like this, this banana that I'm drawing here. Okay, do you like how how that looks? I like it. Okay, let me just color everything, add a nice green background. Okay, good. And now you can save it. So now you can, uh, oh no, oh no, Windows help and support, okay guys, we're gonna, we're gonna zoom in on this, okay guys, this is Windows help and support, we're getting help content, there's a loading bar, okay, using paint, paint is a feature in Windows 7 that you can use to create drawings on a blank drawing area or in existing pictures. Many of the tools used in paint are found in the ribbon which is near the top of the paint window. The following illustration shows the ribbon and other tools of the paint. Okay. Drawing lines. You can use several different tools to draw and paint. The tool you use in the options you select determine how the lines appear in the drawing. These are the tools you can use to draw lines and paint. Okay, so that's that's pretty cool but but like we we don't really care. Okay, let's go back to monitor. Okay, cool. So that's one cool thing you can do on your desktop. And let's do another. You can also change your screen resolution. This one's really fun. I like doing this one. So you can just go up here, and you can bring it down to eight hundred by six hundred. You just hit apply. See you guys. Look, look at how funny everything looks now. Look now everything's now everything's small and funny looking. Like do you do you see this guys? I'm like laughing just thinking again about it. But like it doesn't really wanna fit to the screen, so let's let's go back to to uh, to my normal screen resolution screen size. Okay. Keep changes. Okay, let me show you a few more things that you can do in your desktop. You can also uh, refresh. So, like in case like something happens, you can refresh it. You can also create brand new text documents, and you can also create new folders and shortcuts for games like Minecraft. Uh, I don't know where that one went. You can also create a compressed zipped folder and word documents and for those that have adobe flash you can make you can make flash action strip files which is dank okay so that, that that's it that's a this a, is a good video about how to how to do uh, more things with your desktop so uh be, be sure to to like and subscribe because we're we're gonna go for uh for one, 1 million subscribers on the video. If you want my wallpaper, then I'll, I'll send it to you once I, we get uh, 1,000 subscribers, okay? Okay. That, 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 thanks. thanks. <laughs> thanks for